Could a genetically modified tomato actually help cure cancer? There's a lot to unpack here, so let's get to it. Ever since the inception of GMO or genetically modified crops, they have only been available to large scale farms and not to the backyard gardener. But now that's changing. Uh -huh. There's a new genetically modified tomato plant that's actually being marketed for home gardeners. In fact, you could buy it right now. It's a purple tomato and the outside is the color of a Concord grape and the inside is the color of a plum. And this is a transgenic tomato plant, meaning that it actually has genes from a different type of plant, in this case, a purple snapdragon inserted into the genetics of this plant. So why? Why are they messing with our food and the plants that we might be eating? Well, this company, Norfolk Plant Sciences, is actually trying to change the perception about GMOs into being something that's going to actually boost your health rather than being the perception that it's going to negatively impact your health. So what this company and lead scientist Kathy Martin believe is that by inserting certain genes into the plants that we eat, you could actually boost the nutritional value of those plants. Wow. In this case, the genes that they are inserting from the snapdragon, which is an edible flower, by the way, are really high in anthocyanins. Now, most likely you are already consuming anthocyanins in several different types of fruits and vegetables, such as blueberries, blackberries, eggplant, and purple cabbage. And anthocyanins have been shown to be powerful antioxidants, which can help with anti-inflammation and even anti-cancer benefits. And by boosting the level of anthocyanins in this tomato plant, they're actually giving you a higher dosage of it than you would normally get from other types of food that you consume in your daily life. And they really believe that this could help people to live longer. In fact, they released a study where mice that were supplemented these purple tomatoes actually lived 30% longer than the mice in the study that were not supplemented this tomato. Oh so yeah, this company really believes in what they are doing and they are really pushing the GMO narrative in a different direction than what it traditionally has been. Because in the past, GMO largely has been used <laughs> for things that were, well, not so good. In fact, the most widespread use of GMO in the U.S. was made to increase the amount of chemicals that you spray onto your food crops. I'm talking about Roundup Ready crops, which I talked about in length in a previous video. So if this company really thinks they're going to change public perception, they've got a long uphill battle ahead of them. But I do believe, like with most things, when you have something that is potentially so powerful, as long as it is in the right hands and used with the right intentions, there's a lot of good that potentially could come out of this. And I could certainly see use cases in the future as this technology continues to develop. So I'm going to leave this up to you. Would you ever grow GMO crops in your home garden?